Welcome back to another Transformers Rescue Bots Academy episode review. Today we're taking a look at episode 44, Metal Munchers. At the beginning of the episode, we see the Recruits Earth Museum, which I'm pretty sure they referenced in previous episodes. Here they have a collection of random objects. In particular, they're trying to figure out what a ball and paddle are. Wait, do kids today not know what a ball and paddle are? I mean, that was a pretty ancient toy when I was a kid, and I'm... Oh, well, hey look, uh, Boulder has a companion cube. So he takes the recruits to an undefined location where there's a bunch of geysers. Wait, isn't this the same location from Medic Surprise? Was this episode supposed to take place before then? Because the recruits don't seem to know what a geyser is here. I think so, and turns out I was actually right for once in my guesses in the previous episode. The recruits are attacked by Scraplets! Oh no! Wrath found the first one here, right? Did you just scream like a little girl? No. Maybe. As we've learned through Transformers Prime and Cyberverse, Scraplets can be extremely dangerous. How are the recruits going to fight them if they don't have any real weapons? And even if they did have weapons, this is a little kid show and shooting scraplets would probably be too violent for this age demographic. Also, the recruits act like they haven't even heard of scraplets before, even though they've referenced them in previous episodes. So I'm guessing this episode was supposed to take place much earlier in the season. When Boulder seals the recruits in the cave, I couldn't help but think of when Ultra Magnus sacrificed himself to save the other Autobots in Transformers the movie. Kudos if that was a purposeful reference. This episode also draws into question which continuity the Rescue Bots Academy show takes place in. To me, it seems to take place in the Cyberverse universe or a Cyberverse-like universe. While others have corrected me and said that because it's a continuation of the original Rescue Bots show, that it's part of the aligned continuity. But in Transformers Prime, the Scraplets were discovered by Team Prime, frozen in the Arctic. In Cyberverse, the Scraplets were created by Starscream using the Allspark and Vector Sigma. But here, they theorized that the Scraplets came aboard a meteor that landed in this geyser area. So it seems like maybe Rescuebots Academy is its own thing? Although that's not to say it's completely exclusive. There could have been Scraplets here and in the Arctic. Or maybe this takes place between Season 1 and 2 of Cyberverse and Starscream somehow found out about the Scraplets, and that's what inspired him to create his own. I think maybe we'll just have to keep an open mind and wait for more clues in future episodes. As for this one, well, they managed to capture the Scraplets and fire them off into space to another planet where they can munch metal without disturbing anyone. This was a really cool episode. I was genuinely worried about the recruits, even though I knew they'd be fine due to the limitations of this being a kid's show. And it's really interesting how this puts the continuity placement of this show into flux. Personally, I think this might be in the Cyberverse continuity that takes place between Season 1 and 2. There did seem to be a number of years that passed between those two seasons. And as we saw from the beginning of Season 2, the Transformers went from being hidden to being well known by the human population. So maybe some of the same events of the original RescueBots series also took place in the Cyberverse universe, leading into RescueBots Academy. What do you think? Is RescueBots Academy part of Aligned, Cyberverse, or is it its own continuity? And of course, what do you think of this episode? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and all that other fun stuff, and join me for the next episode, number 45. Be prepared. Will Bumblebee finally appear in this show?